Penguins winners today, although they had to sacrifice a point to Washington, which forced overtime. Then it was Gensel scoring on a shootout, and then Casey DeSmith stops Alex Ovechkin. So DeSmith got the start today. Josh, I want to start with you on Tristan Jari. Now, if you look at his first two games, you cannot be pleased with it, given you know what the expectations are. But it is only two games. However, dating back to last year, he still had some issues later in the season. So is this an overreaction to be concerned about Tristan Jari? I think it's fair to be mildly concerned. Listen, it's two games, and, and I will remind people, the Philadelphia Flyers, you don't want to hear this. They're really good. That team's absolutely a Stanley Cup contender. And the Penguins, especially Chris Letang, were not good defensively in front of Jari in those two games in Philadelphia. That said, he was not sharp. And just the fact that Mike Sullivan didn't go with him in the home opener today, I think that tells you that Sullivan's a little concerned. And Sullivan even said he wanted to get Jari a couple of days away just to kind of get his mind right, I think is what he said. So that alone's a little concerning. Uh, let's see how he looks in his next couple of starts, but not the way he wanted to start uh, the season as the number one guy. Well, I think you got to play now DeSmith until DeSmith proves that you don't play him. Um, I don't know. It's... <laughs> It seems pretty cut and dried to me that DeSmith didn't light the world on fire, but he did enough, particularly in the shootout and toward the end of the game. Josh, I thought right at the end of the game, there was an opportunity for uh, today for Washington to win that hockey game. There were a couple nice saves by DeSmith at the end, and I thought he kind of locked it down and then in through the shootout. Uh, again, I don't, it, it doesn't, the, the tide doesn't change. DeSmith isn't your number one guy. But with the way that the schedule's spaced out, I don't think there's back-to-backs until at least like February 3rd or 4th or something in through there. I, I think you can go with the Smith now until he plays his way out of the net. I think you wondered about Tristan Jari. Were you going to see the guy you saw in December that ran off all those wins? Or were you going to see the guy that lost the last four games of the season last year and gave up a bunch of goals in doing so? Uh, what's a little unfair is he had one game, in the, I believe, in the bubble. And then he... You know, he had the first two games, and Josh is right. I mean, Philly is a legit Stanley Cup team. They are a well-built team. And But you can see that Jari did make a couple of mistakes. And I thought listening to Mike Sullivan postgame today, it sounds like it might be a couple of starts. You know, he said he wanted time uh, with the goalie coach, that he needed to work on a few things, and that it was going to be maybe more than one start. And it's interesting that the Penguins have moved their practice schedule. Maybe they – they want to get that in and see if he can go on Tuesday. But uh, I, I just think he needs some more work. He just looks rusty to me, and hopefully he can get back to that. All right, I have just 30 seconds real quick, Josh, just to you. Uh, and, and I just want to ask you about Malkin. Uh, he's gone three games now. He didn't have a shot in regulation from what I could see today, and then I didn't watch the, the last four minutes of the game. But that's concerning. I mean, you expect more from a guy like this. Uh, the legs aren't there yet. Uh, let's just hope they're coming back. I always say, you know what you're getting from Crosby. He's one of the most consistent players in the history of the sport. The Penguins often go as Malkin and Latang go. And Latang's had his head in the clouds for much of the first three games. And, and more troubling to me is the fact that Malkin has looked a little slow at times. I suspect the legs will come, but they had better. All right, we're going to take a break. When we come back, Pitt, big win yesterday, 20 points over Syracuse. And Justin Champagny comes back well earlier than people thought. What a difference. That's next.